Hello everyone and welcome to another Spine Animation tutorial. In this video you will learn how to use a very cool feature called Skins. I'll take this red bell pepper as an example, and you're already familiar with him because I use him a lot. What you didn't know is that this guy has a twin brother, a yellow bell pepper wielding an axe instead of a hammer. I have already created a set of animations for the red bell pepper, so should I create another set for the yellow one as well? No. There is much faster and easier way, I just need to create a new skin for my existing character. So, I've exported the images for my new skin and placed them under the skins folder. You see that each skin here has a separate folder as well. Ok, so I'm going to my spine project with the rig and the animations and at the moment we don't have any skins configured here. Also, the images folder shows only the images for the red skin. So basically, I need to create two skins, one for the red pepper and another one for the yellow pepper. So first, I'm going to change the images path to skins folder, so that it will show the images for both red and yellow skins. Ok, you can see that the images are missing now, but don't worry, we will fix that shortly. What's important right now is that Spine shows red and yellow images folders. Let's select skin section and press new skin. I will call this skin red. I'm filtering out all my attachments by clicking this paper clip button and then I'm selecting all of them. Then let's go to new, skin placeholder. A new dialog will pop up and let's keep the values as is at the moment and just click OK. Good, now you see that the list on the right has become longer and this is because we have added a skin placeholder for every single attachment. Now, what is a skin placeholder? In simple words, a skin placeholder is like a box, and each box contains an image. Now, the same box will contain a different image for a different skin. For example, the body placeholder will contain a red body for the red skin, and a yellow body for the yellow skin. Ok, so let's fix this missing images issue now. So, instead of changing the path for each image separately, I'm pressing this Find and Replace button and configuring the search parameters in a new window. We're going to use a regular expression, and it is a certain pattern that we're looking for. So, we're going to search in the current skin, we need a file path, and the types are Region and Mesh. Great! Now, in the Find section, I'm typing this. This expression means find everything. I know it looks weird and not intuitive at all, but it really helps when you need to make changes in a bulk. And at the moment, there is no better way of doing that in Spine. The alternative is to go and change the path for each image manually, one by one. And I believe you don't want to do that. Alright, so you can see that we found all of our attachments for this skin. What now? In the Replace section, I'm going to write the new path for this attachment, which is red slash images slash dollar one. Yeah, I know, another regular expression, but this is the last one, I promise. Dollar one is a variable, and it contains the search result of the previous expression. And here on the right, you see that the path is going to be updated for each file. So let's hit Replace. And we get our red pepper back with a funny face. I have multiple faces for this character and I will just turn off everything except its normal face. Great! Let's go to animate mode and verify that the animations still work. Yeah, it works! Awesome! So, let's go back to setup mode and create another skin. We don't need to create it from scratch now, we just need to duplicate the red one instead. Let's call it yellow and keep the parameters as is. So let's click OK and a new skin has been added to the list. How do we make the images turn yellow now? We'll change the path to the skin images again. Now, to make it work smoothly, you need to make sure that all corresponding images in both skins have exactly the same names and dimensions. Trust me, it saves plenty of time. Ok, let's make sure we're working on a yellow skin and then let's go to find and replace again. This window already has our previous search parameters, but we need to change here a couple of things. First, you see that the path is wrong 
we need to filter out red slash images from the path. So in the find section, just add red slash images slash before the expression. Then in the replace section, change red to yellow. Good. Now the path looks OK, so I'm pressing the replace button. And here is our new yellow bell pepper. There is one of the images missing, and that's fine because it should be an axe instead of a hammer. How do we fix that now? Let's drag the axe image to the skin placeholder, and I adjust its position so that it has the same position and rotation as the hammer. I actually need to do that twice because I have two hammers and axes. It took me just a couple of minutes, and once it's done, I'm switching to the animate mode to check the result. It works! I can easily switch between the characters by clicking on different skins, and I don't need to create any new animations. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful, and if you've learned something new, please give it a like and leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time!